All right, y'all, welcome back to Common Arms Channel. Okay, so today we're reacting to a short video by some guys that you might be familiar with because I did a podcast with them, but this is from the Mighty Finland YouTube channel. Now, I do appreciate you guys doing this video. This looks sick, and I'm glad you guys are getting some access to some of this training. So I'm very excited to see more stuff in the future if you guys get the opportunity. But yeah, it's about two minutes long. I'm pretty sure this is about the Vigilant Fox exercise. I know there were some U.S. Marines and soldiers going to Finland, and the Vigilant Fox exercise was the only one that I was aware of. But it looks like this video specifically is focusing on CQB tactics, which you guys already know I'm always a big fan of checking out. So yeah, I'm excited. I didn't watch this video in its entirety yet. So hopefully you guys are ready. Let's check it out. Okay, so this is in Helsinki. Oh, I guess it makes sense why these guys got to go and observe too. So I am the commanding officer of, of Guard Jaeger Regiment. And you most likely know that we have been uh, uh, training and exercising since last Monday with the US troops. Uh, regarding the okay, so let's see, what unit? Uh, so, okay, so that's 4th Infantry Division. Okay, dang. I didn't really know what 4th Division did, but I mean, if they're going to Finland, then that's pretty sweet, pretty lucky for them. So Lieutenant Colonel, so this is probably like um, Battalion Commander or something. And then I'm not sure, I forgot what rank he said he was, but... Okay, so I guess they've been training already, so they kind of broke some of the rust off at this point. So hopefully it should look a little bit cleaner. Uh, training and exercising... At least on the American Monday side. I'm, I'm always judgmental of them. Uh, regarding this week, uh, the, the main purpose is, is uh, training small group tactics in the, in the urban area. The combined groups are, are rehearsing how to enter the building. Which okay, never mind. This dude is 82nd Airborne. Okay, well, yeah, that makes sense. These guys, I swear these guys get to go everywhere. I mean, yeah, if you're a squared away unit, you kind of get that, that luxury. People kind of trust you to go and do certain things. Now, it looks like the gear is slightly different. This guy and this guy have different armor than this dude and different helmets. So we might have a couple different units or we might have some support personnel kind of jumping in as well. I'm not really too sure, but yeah, it looks like a lot of fun. Now you would think small unit tactics are pretty simple, but when you start integrating with another country, like their tactics can blow your mind, especially for CQB. If you're expecting them to do one thing or you're trying to shout a command, that means one thing and they kind of don't respond this, the way that you would expect that things can get very complicated very quickly. Imagine they did like a demonstration of, hey, this is kind of generally how we do room clearing. So they kind of, you know, break through some of that rust. But yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how they sort of do and meld CQB together. Um, rehearsing how to enter the building, which is occupied by the enemy, and which are tactics, oh, yeah. techniques, and procedures, um, how to uh, defeat the enemy inside the building. Finn's looking high speed. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh damn, yeah, those fins are decked out. What is that? I, I need to get this right or else I'm, I'm gonna just hate myself for getting this wrong. So this is the RK62M or yeah, RK62M. Okay, so I think it was an RK62M3, I think, judging by the the color I think it is. Okay, and then I noticed this here. So this looks like a shotgun scabbard that we would use for like a shotgun for a ballistic breaching or something, but I'm not really too sure what they're using it for. So if you guys know, definitely put it down in the comment section. It does look like a shotgun scabbard, but they might have something else in it, but okay. Yeah, I gotta say these fins are looking pretty high speed. And how they're using the vehicles for CQB is pretty cool. So what have you guys been doing here? Uh, uh, we've been uh, training with our partner forces, um, getting the idea of how they do things. Uh, in all reality, it's uh, pretty much the same. They just okay. they, they approach it from a different angle. Right. And it's always good to see different angles, truthfully. Yeah. Okay. Well said. Pretty simple. I like it. And then they got the, the gas our mask stuff here too. Our building readiness and at the small unit level, so the team, squad, and individual uh, building interoperability with the Guard Jaeger Regiment and soon the Pori Brigade. Very officer speak, I like it. So, from my perspective, this also has been well a very useful exercise. We have been learning a lot from, from our colleagues, and, and especially when it's questionable. <laughs> this is the awesome thing when you're just like 
you can tell they're probably just like bullshitting, cracking jokes and whatnot. And that's like the best part of when you work with like other countries and stuff. Especially I think with the US and Finland, like I would say Americans and Finns are a lot alike. And I'm not sure some people might take that a bad way. But yeah, Americans and Finns are definitely a lot alike as far as their mentality with the military. So yeah, these guys are definitely gonna have a good time together. And, and especially when it's questioned about our ghost tricks, um, it's giving a, a total new approach to train with, with uh, huh. foreign soldiers. Yeah. So, so far, so good. <laughs> yeah, conscripts are a different thing. A lot of Americans might not understand how that works, or they might just think like, oh, they're probably like the National Guard. Oh, hey, look, it's me. <laughs> they might think it's kind of like the National Guard or maybe even like a reserve force. They might think, yeah, just because they're not necessarily volunteers or professional soldiers, they might not be at the same standard as our active duty. And if you do think that, you're definitely going to be surprised because, again, I think the Finns do it very well, especially for the amount of time that, that a lot of Finns serve in the conscription. They do, they do a pretty good job as far as getting proficient because they're not messing about like even if they are in for a short amount of time they are going in and they're, they're they're getting some good training as well so yeah i do like to see it of course mighty finland i i, I can't really i you guys spell your names differently but it sounds the same to me so v vile and vile yeah i'm excited to see more videos like this in the future if you guys can get the opportunity looks like a fun time but yeah i think it was I think it was just fourth ID. We might have had some 82nd guys in there kind of just like jumping in or maybe as like an instructor role. So I'm not sure. It looks like we might have had a couple different units. Now, I know the Marines were in Finland as well, but I haven't seen many videos. I mean, compared to what the U.S. Army is doing, I haven't seen many videos of the Marines doing stuff. So I'm going to try and check out some of those. I might not do a reaction to it, but I do want to see what the Marines were getting up to as well. But it looks like a lot of fun. These exercises are always cool. I imagine we're going to see more like this. I'm not sure if this Vigilant Fox was an annual thing. I imagine with the NATO application and whatnot, they're probably going to be upping the exercises, which is cool, cool to see, especially with the Americans and the Brits doing things with Finland. So I don't know, maybe in the future I can catch a, a paid trip to Finland to do some sort of exercise or whatnot. But yeah, it looks like Looks like a cool time. CQB is just fun in general, but when you have that downtime, you can get everybody else's perspective, do some trading, kind of just tell stories and, and stuff. And that's where the real fun is. And that's where you start to really build those memories and, and even those friendships. Because yeah, you do make a lot of friends when you do stuff like this. Yeah, cool time. Of course, again, let me know if you guys took part in this, what kind of exercises or training you actually did and what you thought, especially from the training and kind of the interoperability, but also from you know each other, if you guys learned a thing or if you saw something that was kind of odd to you. But yeah, I think it is kind of cool to sort of see what their fins are doing in contrast to the Americans. And of course, the Mighty Finland guys, thank you for letting me react to the video. Of course, I do hope you guys get to do more stuff with the Finnish Defense Forces. I think they definitely know you guys. I mean, compar comparatively speaking, the U.S. Army, U.S. Marine Corps, they probably don't need to be like, who's Combat Arms Channel? If you ask these guys, if the Mighty Finland guys ask these Americans, they'd be like, yeah, no clue who Combat Arms Channel is. But if I asked anyone in the Finnish Defense Forces if they knew what Mighty Finland was, they'd be like, yeah, of course, they do like some some cool podcasts. So it's nice that they, they're getting the connections because, yeah, hopefully we can see more videos like this in the future. But, yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I will see y'all in the next one.